Mm. How did I do? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, that was delicious. Hey guys, it's Carla. I'm here in the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen today with David Dobrik. Hi guys. And today we've got our usual 20 minutes to make Vietnamese style summer rolls. Okay. And we're gonna see how David does following along with me through verbal instructions only. Easy peasy. I'm ready. Just tell me, just so I have a sense, rate yourself as a cook on a scale of one to 10. It's bad. It's, I'm not even exaggerating <laughs> when I say it's like a one. I don't, I can't even make a DiGiorno pizza. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. It's bad. So it's gonna be perfect. Yeah. All right, so on a count of three, we're just gonna turn around and start cooking. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Let's Here cook. we go. So orient yourself a little bit. I'm and oriented. Then right in front, we have these four very large shrimp. I'm allergic to raw shrimp, so I'm gonna put on gloves, which you can uh, find on the station too. <laughs> Shouldn't have washed my hands. I before. know, that was a tricky part. <laughs> I already messed it up. We haven't even touched the food. Not today, we don't need the gloves. So, um, I want you to pick up a, a shrimp, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna twist the body away from the head, like twisting opposite directions, and just twist off the head. And some gunky stuff might come with that, and that's okay. I hate seafood. Really? Yeah, it's my uh, least favorite. Oh dear. All right, well, um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna eat yours, so I like it. Um, so now, your head is off. There's an empty bowl on your station. Just toss that head away. Okay. And then I want you to find the little pair of white snipper um, scissors. I got them. Okay, cool. So then, I find it easier if you turn the shrimp over where the, the, the legs are, and you, we want to cut the shell off. So you just have to slip the, the blade right underneath the shell and just snip down the length of um, the shrimp. Kind of like... Oh, it's really <laughs> gross. But you, you know what this feels like? It, Tell me. It, it feels like I, I promised a girl that I was going to make dinner for her. Uh-huh. And I lied. Uh -huh. And now I have a chef in my ear. Oh. Helping me out with the date. Perfect. A, as she's sitting in the room watching me. And you're like, I regret every minute of I this? Shouldn't have, yeah, I shouldn't have lied to her. If you've peeled your shell off, or once it's snipped, you can peel the rest of the shell off and then just pull the tail out. Okay. And then I have a bunch of dangly, like, head gut stuff, so I'm gonna use my snippers to cut that off. I don't know if your head came off cleanly, you might not have to do that. Okay, the tentacles came off. Okay, great, perfect, no tentacles. And now, um, find your paring knife. Now okay. you have to devein it. It's okay, let's, it's, let's make veiny shrimp. Let, oh, you don't want the digestive tract. Okay. The actual tail, all right. So now with this um, denuded shrimp in your hand, yeah. I want you to turn it over, so like the, now the, the back side. And um, there's like a seam that runs down the center where the two halves connect. I just want you to, to um, put your paring knife and kind of run your paring knife just to score the top of the, that seam. In the middle, right at the top, there's, um, there's just some gunky stuff. It's like a little white, like, it looks like floss. Yeah, exactly. I pulled it out. Perfect. Okay, so you did it. We did one. We only have to do three. So underneath this tray with the shrimp is another tray. You can put your clean um, shrimp on that one. So just lift that tray up. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, so you don't like seafood, but do you ever cook it? No, I've, I, I mean, I don't cook anything, even the food I love. Oh, cool. I'm really, really genuinely scared of seafood. The smell, the texture, mm. the fact that it could bite <laughs> me back any second. This guy's not going to bite. Just pull his head off. He can't oh, do anything to you. Pull the head. And then again, with your scissors going on the where the legs are, cutting all the way down, and then pulling the um, shell off. Okay. Do you ever, do you eat sh fish if it's cooked, or you just avoid it completely? I avoid it, and sometimes like it'll look like a chicken wing. Yeah. So I'll be like, I'm gonna give it a shot. How yeah. bad can it be? Yeah. But I immediately regret it. I feel like, I feel <laughs> like if you don't like fish when you're younger, you'll like it when you're older. Maybe. So I'm kind of waiting for that moment. I think it's good to continue to try it. That's worked for me. I had a um, a, a food aversion I got over just by years of trying it. So shell is off. So taking that paring knife again, turning over to like the outside curved part Twist of the. Twist the head off. Yeah, you got your head, your head's off. No, I'm doing another one. Oh, you're going number three. Did you take the vein out already? No. Okay, we got to take That's the... good. I was testing you. <laughs> take the vein out. Scoring the back of the thing with the paring knife. You might see, it might be white, it might be brown. And then, all right, you already took off a third head. 
Yeah, I took off the third head. You took head. off the third head. Okay, I'm catching up to you. Carla, second do part. you need help? Should I come back there? <laughs> this is the second time it this sounds happened. Like, it sounds like you're a little behind. <laughs> Some people eat the heads. I've eaten the heads. They're delicious. Yeah, well, you don't seem like <laughs> a sane person. <laughs> Deep fried. They're really good. Yep, exactly, yep. exactly what I mean. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I have three. You have three shrimp? Three shrimp on the barbie. Okay, put the three shrimp into this um, simmering water. Okay, should I make sure it's hot? Uh, yeah, it should be simmering. Okay, right. we're good. Fingers, shrimps. Put a little timer in front of you, and we're going to just set that for two minutes. So just hit the minute button twice, and it should display two minutes. Yep, and hit start. Start. Thanks. Okay, so now we have this um, tray with um, vegetables and things, and the first thing I need you to do is you're going to choose two crunchy things. So the crunchy things are the cucumber, the carrot, and the watermelon radish. I which, got them. Okay, so which two of these would you like to be in your um, summer roll at the end? I would love the cucumber and Cuc the carrot. Great, I knew you were gonna choose those two. They're I the just, best. I knew it. All right, so this um, carrot, just cut it in half crosswise. And then I think it's gonna be easier to use the- Like a circumcision, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's what circumcision is like. You just cut it right in half. Right in the middle. <laughs> okay, so now with the bigger half, the, the girthier half? It um, also doesn't matter what half is what. Okay, my timer just went off. Hold on. All things must stop now. Okay, so grab your tongs. Drop these three shrimpies in the ice water. I just want to cool them down really quickly. So we're going to leave them there for a sec. And you can hit the power button on the front of this burner. All right, let's go back to our carrot. So I want you to now make a, um, just cut off like a thin slice going the, the long way, not the crosswise way, not the circumcision way, the long way. Long way. Yep. And then, so you just take a thin slice off so that you have a flat side, and now roll the carrot onto that flat side so now it won't roll around on the cutting board. Oh, got it. Okay, so now then- Now you want me to do this thing? <laughs> yes, that sounds exactly right. That's what I've been looking forward to. <laughs> so that same kind of slice that you did to create a flat side, I want you to repeat that, but just do it a bunch of times in a row so that you end up with very thin carrot planks. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So when you have like three or four that we could stack up, let me know. Okay, I have three. You do? Yeah. Oh, quick. So now stack them up. Make Stacked. a pile. Make a pile. You're gonna cut down to make really thin strips. Yeah, got it. Okay. So yeah, making long matchsticks, strings, julienne, whatever you want to call them. You okay? Oh Jesus. <laughs> and then whatever you didn't use of the carrot, just toss it back on the tray. Okay. You want me to put the little the little ones where? Um, on the, there's a like rectangular shiny metal tray and just put your matchsticks over there. Oh, by the flower. So now I want you to cut the cucumber in half like we did the carrot, but I want you to cut it to the same length as these carrot sticks. So if you need to take one of your carrot sticks over to give you a little ruler and cut your, your cucumber to the same and then we're gonna repeat the whole thing. So take a thin slice off of the outside of the cuke to make a flat side and roll it onto that flat side. And then I want you to make really thin slices to make cucumber planks. All right, stack them up and then rip them down. Nice, beautiful strings of cuke. Okay. Okay, when those are done, just put them on your tray next to your carrot. So now we have our crunchy stuff done. Now we need to choose a slippery thing. Um, your two slippery choices are avocado or mango. Oh, mango. Mango. Oh, I'm so pleased. Okay, cool. So now you need the little um, peeler. First thing is just make a very small cut at the, the stem end of the mango. Just, just. Okay. Okay, your stem is gone. Stem's gone. Okay, then taking your peeler from that cut end and dragging it down, just peel the mango. Slow down, okay? <laughs> Is your mango peels? Okay, there we go. Yes? Okay, so now um, I want you to stand your mango up on the cut end and then working the knife from the outside edge, just really, really thin slices again. We're not gonna make matchsticks, we're just gonna have some like nice, very thin, oblong okay. mango slices. It's kind of like cutting a heart open. Mm. which I also wouldn't know anything about. <laughs> How many of these? Uh... Three or four. Great, I have three. Great, okay, amazing. Okay, now just take 
the lettuce. Just cut off the bottom of it. We just need like a couple, maybe three lettuce leaves. And I'm gonna be like greedy and take the ones from the center because they're the right size for the lettuce roll. So you can go down to the core and take some of those little inner leaves. And now we're gonna um, wrap and roll. And get this like um, vase of herbs. Oh, the, the flowers? Yeah. And now um, take a rice paper round, which are stacked up on the plate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip the rice paper round in the water, swish it around, get it wet, turn it over, get, get it wet again, and then oh, wow. out of the water. So it should be like pretty translucent and kind of pliable now. Yeah, it's great. Right? Okay, put that down on your um, lightly watered workstation. Yep. So bring the shrimp over the cutting board. I forgot, okay. I forgot all about the shrimp. Really should have done this before. Okay, so three shrimp halves at like the bottom third. And then um, just pull off a couple of basil leaves and put those on top. Basil and, leaves? Yep, and a couple of cilantro and put those on top. I'm just surprised you couldn't do this yourself. You had to have me come and help you. <laughs> and now take a few carrot sticks and just tuck those right next to your shrimp, like more towards the middle, not towards the end. And a couple of pieces of cuke and put those right on top of the carrots. And then take a little handful of noodles and put that right on top of everybody. Yeah. And then on top of that, a lettuce leaf. And then on top of that, a piece of mango. Okay. Okay. And yeah. now working with the side of the um, rice paper wrapper closest to you, you're going to fold that up and over. So up and over, it should come up like on top of the mango. Okay, I'm and here. And then fold w your left side over towards the middle. Oh, wow. And your right side over towards the middle. It's crazy how it's making sense what you're saying because I'm keeping up so well. Really? And then rolling <laughs> it, tucking it and rolling away from you. And you should make a nice little rice paper burrito. This is disgusting. <laughs> it looks like my seven-year-old sister packed me a lunch and threw everything in a Ziploc bag. Okay, cool, that's what mine looks like too. So grab your plate, it's over by the sink. Let's grab a dipping sauce. Reveal? Yeah. Yeah? So on the count of three, we're gonna turn around. Ready? One, two, two. three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's really sticking in my face. That was terrifying. That looks pretty good, I have to say. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. We literally made the same thing. We made the same thing. I just had time to make an herb garden while you were preparing your hydration mask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so That's I apologize good. for making something with seafood, but you have to eat it anyway. I'm excited. So I'm allergic to seafood. You had an allergy too, but it was... It was a... Uh, coconut. Oh, I heard you were allergic to coconut. coconut. Yeah. Is that true? I honestly you make allergies up. If I, like, I'll be at like a friend's house, and like <laughs> I'll see they're making like cabbage stew, I'll be like, guess what? Guess what I'm allergic to? Uh, cabbage and stew. <laughs> All right, ready? I actually don't even like mango. Oh. <laughs> I'm allergic to it. Mmm. Mango's weird. The mango. It's just, <laughs> it really is. Although, I cannot tell you how excited I was mm -hmm. that you chose mango. Do you need the trash bowl again? No. no. You're going to get through this? Mm -hmm. How did I do? Uh oh. <laughs> Carla, that was delicious. <laughs> David, yeah? come back anytime. Yeah. I'll... We'll make pizza. I'm, I'm allergic to kitchens now. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I had fun. I'm really glad you were here. Sorry I made you puke. If you ever have french fries and yeah. a Big Mac, yeah. I'm here. Okay, good.